Okay. Um, I'm back. Um, I may have to. We'll see. Um, but uh, how to handle stress and anxiety? One, you have to bind it and rebuke it um, because it's coming from the devil. Because um, it says in the Bible that uh, we're not supposed to worry. Uh, that we're supposed to uh, rely on God and let him take care of us. Um, we're supposed to, and I know that's a lot more said than done. Uh, there are certain times when I, uh, knowing what I know and seeing what I see, I completely lose it. Um, so, Toby. Um, uh, um, handling stress and anxiety in our world is extremely important and um, and God allows it because he wants us to go to him he wants us to rely completely on him which we don't uh, very few people completely rely on God and don't realize what he can do and provide <clears throat> um, <clears throat> that's why he says take my yoke and my burden because my yoke is easy and my burden is light <clears throat> however there's a lot of us that because of our situations or other things uh, we take that and um, take it back and uh, use it for ourselves um, so um, but handling this one you just got to breathe um, you got to get into the bible you got to pray you gotta get on your knees because what I've noticed is when anxious and whatever I pray about it I get into the Bible and uh, it's kind of alleviated if you will um, <coughs> um, well, this is hammock sink um, this is a way that I handle stress um, Toby, I'm, I'm going to kind of just, <coughs> sorry, I'm sitting, <coughs> um, this is, I'm trying to avoid this at the moment, but, um, um, but it's getting out here in nature, um, and what God's created and in order to <coughs> decompress, um, I mean, um, and it's also handling stress and anxiety is um, giving it to God and letting him handle it. <clears throat> but he doesn't expect you just to give it all to him and not do something. Uh, he wants you to get off your butt and actually do something. <clears throat> he doesn't expect, um, and those that put forth the effort will, um, and all you got to do is you say, can you bless me and help me in this situation? Um But, um, but I get out in nature as much as I can. Um, and what I find interesting is, um, my thoughts before I get out are like, oh, you don't, don't get out. Oh, you'll not have fun any at all. Oh, you'll, you'll just have a sucky time and, um, it's not going to be fun for you and, <clears throat> um, and all these negative thoughts. And then after I go out, it's like, oh, well, I discovered a new place or went to a new place to have fun in and. Um, so, um, another way I handle stress and anxiety, um, I try to run or work out every night and it's my way of basically, I know, no, we're not going to go anywhere. You guys stay here with me. Okay. Um, sorry. My dog is Toby. Um, don't go down there, bud. Toby. Sorry. My dogs. Toby, do not go down there. Toby! Toby! Do not go down there! Sorry. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> um, dogs and other kids and stuff can bring on anxiety. Toby, do not go down there. Um, I mean, there are situations, um, that we can get ourselves into that cause stress. Um, like not having enough money to live, not having enough food and all the other stuff to live. So... Um, that can be very stressful. Um, 
<laughs> and um, <coughs> so, um, but it's in those times that we just got to um, do what we can um, and then give the rest to God. Um, and in this time, um, I mean, God has been telling me to prepare. Um, and so I've gotten first aid and hatchets and axes and tools and um, food. Um, and then also I've gotten medicinal things because I believe there's a lot of things around me that I can use. Like I'm on top of, I think this is ginger um, underneath me. And this can be eaten, um, I believe. Um, um, and then this vine um, is also, this is uh, green bar. It's a version of green bar. Uh, but there is an underground tuber. If you fall it down into the ground, there's an underground tuber that you can eat. Um, so there, um, there is that. Um, but getting back to stress, um, we're about to hit a situation where um, natural disasters are going to hit. Um, there's been things prophesized uh, like um, thousand or more foot tsunami, asteroids and meteors hitting the ground, uh, fire from heaven, um, earthquakes that are, will rock this entire world and move everything. Um, I don't mean to scare you, but, um, I mean, there isn't really a, a good mental way of preparing for this. You kind of got to react, but in those situations, you just got to do what you can and, uh, and then keep going, um, and go to God. I mean, God will always provide for you. And he gives you, I mean, all throughout the Bible, it says that he gives you the peace. He gives you the ways. And um, I believe that he will take care of us. I mean, I've had things show up that I wasn't expecting, like money or help or whatever. And um, they showed up the right time um, for the right reasons. And <clears throat> However, if you're not living a right life and you're praying, um, I wouldn't expect answers except for maybe the devil, uh, which he does answer. Uh, but if if the if God sees that you're really trying to change and turn, then He will help you. Um, and He and He has um, He. And it also says in the Bible that He gives grace and mercy to those that um, that ask Him in sincerity. Um, and we have to ask. Um, like if you pray and fast for multiple days, um, He'll definitely take that as a sign that yeah, you mean business. Um, but dealing with stress and anxiety, what you got to do is just breathe. I mean, if something hits the fan, um, what you got to do is react and get it. I mean, if it's not a safe place to be in at that moment, then get get to a safe place um, to where you're out of harm's way. And then just take a breath and try to do a mental um, check and inventory. So, um, but... Um, but you're going to encounter situations of riots and war in the near future. It's been prophesied that um, Russia will nuke New York as well as many other cities. Um, I've heard um, supposed things saying that there's going to be nukes used in a lot of various places. Um, I've heard of suitcase nukes, and I don't quite know where they are. But if you look at the Prophecy Club and others... You'll see that these will happen. Um, but yes, this is a unprecedented time. And um, many things are going to happen. And you're going to have to figure out a way of not collapsing, but trying to keep moving forward. Um, it's a lot to take in. I've been warned two years ago that this is going to happen. And trying to open up people. And sadly, no one believes me, or very few people believe me. Um, however, sometimes I don't even believe me, um, to be completely honest, because I'm, I'm waiting, um, and I can't, and what I've also noticed is, um, with these pro prophecies and in the past, I can't imagine being one of the people, I mean, I, I can now put myself in these guys and you know that you've made the prophecy, but you're not sure when it will happen. Um, so, um, which is kind of interesting, but I would recommend hailing stress uh, with just doing what um, what you like to do.
that is biblical. Um, and like play frisbee, go play with your friends, um, go to a park, go play with your dog or kids, um, uh, go exercise. Um, just don't sit around, mope around and just thinking about it all day. That will destroy you. Um, do something about it. Try to put your foot forward and definitely don't ever leave God out of it. Say, God, I'm, I'm in a situation. I don't know how to react. Where do I go? Um, simple, sweet, straightforward. Um, but how I relieve stress is to go to places and sit. Um, this is hammock sink. And, um, I think people used to swim in it. Um, I think I've swam, well, I don't know if I, was this one that I swam in? When I was a kid, I swam somewhere in here, but, um, <clears throat> but yes, handling stress and anxiety, um, is easier said than done. Um, there's sometimes when things hit and hit and hit and hit, like, okay, someone dies and then you lose all your money and then you have car trouble and then you have this, that, and other, and they keep piling up. Um, it's a never ending battle, never ending war. Um, there's moments of, of, uh, <laughs> like, Hey, raise the sunshine. And then you have dark clouds again. Um, but yes, we've entered a time when things are not going to go nice um but it's we have to rely on him up there and he has angels and other things protecting us so um thank you for listening um hopefully this was informative um but um god loves you um and he wants you to repent and confess all your sin and he will get you through what's coming because without him there ain't no way in hell you're getting through what's coming um, it's going to be chaos like no other time in human history. Um, you're going to have wars, tsunamis, earthquakes, floods. I mean, you're seeing it now. I mean, you can see how we've had mega hurricanes and floods like no other time in history. Um, I mean, it's all over the world. It's not just in the U.S. I mean, there's been ma major floods in Pakistan and India and... Um, yeah, <laughs> Mexico multiple times. Um, so yeah, I mean, just, and don't, um, I would actually, um, expect to lose everything. <laughs> um, I would have a go bag or uh, a go container and have it be with you. I mean, think of, um, also prepare in any way you can, um, of how, it's like if you lose your car, um, then will you rely on, I mean, what I was thinking is I have a gorilla cart and a bike and, uh, and a backpack and I can get out. But if I have a dog like him over there, um, I'll have to figure out a way of taking him with me. And so that would not mean a bike, but, um, but I would go to places like this, um, where you can get away from society and people because people are going to turn against you. Um, if, if you're starving for multiple days and, um, they see that you have food or have resources that they need. They're going to attack you. They don't care who you are. Um, so just expect the unexpected. Um, and it even says in the Bible that brother will turn against brother, mom against son, dad against son, dad against daughter. Um, and it also says friend against friend. When the red horse rides, um, chaos ensues. And there's been... <laughs> prophecies claiming that he's already ridden um and i i don't know um so i don't know where we are in, with the seals and with all that um but uh yeah just keep looking up god will help you through all of this um and just learn to take a breath if you can and think and then react but if you're in a situation that's like, okay, my house is on fire, let's get out, um, then get to a safe place and then try to figure it out. Um, thank you. Um, but yeah, always look to the Bible. Always look for answers in the Bible. Um, go to God and he'll provide. Um, I mean, I've, I've even started journaling. So anyway, thank you for joining me. Bye for now.